So if you haven't noticed already, this may help you pick up on the fact that recently I've been enjoying getting creative, playing around, trying to put more meaning into my photos and trying to tell a little bit more of a story. And this continues. Today it's Monday, Lids and I got up and had a pretty decent stretch, I'd say. It was quite bizarre. There was like an American lady that we were watching. There was quite a lot of like shaking out, which you always feel a bit silly doing. But anyway, felt better for it, which was the whole purpose for doing it in the first place. But I've got up today and today marks a very special day. It's the day in which Lydia is going to be sharing the name of her new company that she has worked incredibly hard at over the past couple of years. And that is not an exaggeration. She's been working on this project for so long. And today's the day that she can finally share a little piece of what she's been working on over that time. So I'm so proud that I wanted to share something as well. So today I've decided that I'm gonna come down back into the basement to shoot a photo that I can share on my Instagram uh, just to help share the message and let everybody know that uh, Lids has a new company and a new brand. I'm so excited about it, it's such a genius idea. So all will be revealed later on. Unfortunately, that's all I can tell you at the moment. I'm not gonna be able to tell you any more further details, but I absolutely love the branding of it. Um, I think she's done a really really great job with everything. So this morning I'm going to be setting up like a studio lighting setup, but I want that to be in the photo because I'm going to be helping take some images for the brand for Lydia. Um, obviously at the moment we are still in quarantine and so it's not the most convenient time to be launching a brand, but it's the right time. And I believe that we have the tools to get through it and uh, do a nice uh, launch. So. I'm going to be setting up that this morning and this isn't shooting the images for the products or necessarily for her account. It's just purely an Instagram feed post for me because I'm so proud. I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to get her in the photo as well. So the idea is, is that we're going to be setting up a studio. She's going to be the focus point. She's the hero within the piece of content and I'm going to be there with my camera and I'm just going to be like tidying her up. But I want the whole setup to be in the shot. So I want it to feel like a real BTS kind of shoot. So. I brought down a few props already this morning, the lighting and the backdrop and all of those sort of bits. So I'm gonna stick you guys on a time lapse. We're gonna get setting up and getting busy, ready to hopefully shoot this afternoon. we've managed to get Lydia in the house. How do you feel about today's setup? It's quite masculine. Yeah. It's cool though. I like how you've stolen all of like the old stuff that I buy for the house. <laughs> <laughs> right, ready? Yeah. This is how I do it. My coiffeur. Oh, coiffeur. Beauty. Just wrapped up shooting downstairs and I've just stuck the raw images onto my computer and I'm actually really pleased with them. When I was looking at them on the back of the camera, I was just like, ah, oh, the lighting's a bit too harsh, not really feeling them. But actually, now I've loaded them up onto the computer and I can see them blown up on a big screen. Like, they're really crisp, the lighting's really nice. So I'm gonna get busy editing those photos now because it's currently about 4.30. Lydia's video goes live at about five. I'd probably like to post the photo at around about 6 p.m. So if I can get it done, great. If not, I'll probably have to wait till tomorrow. Bloomy's just down here snoozing away. Lesser. And I was going to try and get out into the garden today because I'm feeling like I want to create something really calming. I want to, kind of selfishly, I guess, go out there and create some content so I can come in and edit something that's really relaxing, really soothing. Hopefully it's for you guys as well when you watch it. So that is what I'm gonna do, whether it happens tonight at sunset, whether it happens tomorrow, probably more than likely, we shall see. But following on from here, we're gonna go into a little bit of B-roll and hopefully it's gonna be quite a nice, relaxing, cinematic-y kind of piece of footage just shot out in my garden of anything and anything I can find that I feel like filming. So yeah, wish me luck. Should be nice and relaxing.
Feeling? I feel very sicky. Yeah. You don't like that word though, do you? No, but I feel very drained. Do you? Yeah. So Lids has just launched the name of your new company. I'm very proud of you. Just gotta get it out there now, but you know, like before I just felt like I could just stop talking about it and no one would ever notice and I could just forget that I ever tried to do it. But now that I've put the name out, I'm a bit like I have to do this now. You've already done it. Well, just haven't launched the actual product. No, I know. That's the really fun bit. Do you want to see our studio shoot? Yeah. There it is, guys. Oh, how lovely. Very nicely lit. Swipe. There's a little pampasy as well. Little pampas quasi. Looking good. Lovely. So I'm currently just tidying up. Here's all the uh, Tom Brown stuff that was sent out from Samson and the collaboration that Tom Brown did which was a lovely gift. This is the uh, Samsung Z Flip, which is really cool because the whole screen folds. So weird. <laughs> this is obviously the Tom Brown design. So it's like a case for the phone. You've got the smartwatch and then the earbuds. Super cool. So I was just about to come downstairs and ask Lydia how much trouble I was for working a little bit later this evening than she would have liked. And it looks like she's not going to be upset at all. Oh, I'm upset. I don't think you can be. You've got gin on the go. That's a happy time right there. You thought you'd make yourself a glass. Well, you know, I would have been sat out in the garden, but I asked you to get the cushions out. And did anyone get the cushions out? So it's Thursday, but it's bank holiday weekend. So Liz and I have decided that we're going to have a three day weekend. However, go on. Sunday, the weather goes to 10 degrees, so I bet we end up working. Oh yeah, uh, if, that's, if that's the case, 100% I'll be working. I'm getting Sunday. so pissed tonight. Are you? Yeah. I mean, can we just take a moment to appreciate how fancy the lawns are looking? That is line goals right there. So anyway, babe, I came down to Mate, empty the bin. Can you do my bin as well, please? Yeah. I'm going to quickly hoover and tidy up my room and get rid of Lumi's dense thickness of hair that she accumulates on the blue chair in my office because it's like her day bed, isn't it? Yeah, it literally is. It is so bad, she absolutely cakes it in hair. So I'm going to get rid of that and then... Can you do my, my room as well? Yes, I'll do your bin as well. And then... No, 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 no. Oh, hoover. hoover. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you do my room because I've yeah, just yeah. done the bathroom, the bedroom, the kitchen and the hallway. Sounds like a good deal to me. So you can put my clothes away as well. Is it okay if I have a drink with you? Yes. What do you want? I'll have a um, tuna as well, please. Mm -hmm. So. You want one of these? Yeah. Okay. okay. So last week I was sent out a lovely bottle of gin from Grass. I think that's how you pronounce it. Just say grass. Just say grass, mate. Yeah. But last weekend. Lydia and I had a glass on Sunday evening and it is so good. When we did the Cotswold distillery tour, the guy was talking about a process during the distillation of the gin where some companies remove the cloudiness in gin, wanting to make a nice, clear, pure, 
hearing gin, but it actually doesn't help the flavor in any way. If anything, it hinders it. So I was like, oh, interesting. One of our favorite other gins is Monkey 47, and that's cloudy. So it has like an iridescent kind of look to yeah. it. And this gin, 44 degrees north, we think that's what it's called, has a kind of like cloudy look to it. So we're kind of like starting to believe that if a gin is cloudy, we're about that. <laughs> so I just polished off my first gin of the evening. I actually finished tidying upstairs and did Lydia's office for her as well. I always call it your office. It's... I know, but I feel, I feel like it is my office. Yeah, it's not Because I'm in there as much as I would be if it yeah. was an office. So anyway, I've grabbed myself a bud. Excuse me. Yeah? That's all you shaking your head then. <laughs> <laughs> I've grabbed myself a bud because these have got screw tops on them and that's not the only reason why I buy them. <laughs> but I grabbed myself one because it's just so convenient to just whip the lid off. But anyway, Liz has asked me if I'd go for a walk around the garden and have a look at all of the blossom because we've had like a second wave. This weekend we're due some really, really good weather. As you heard a second ago, Lydia saying that Sunday's not looking so great, but Thursday, which was today, Friday, Saturday, banging so um the flowers are looking incredible so i thought i'd quickly share with you if you're into that kind of stuff probably not what's been going down in the old flower beds go on aaron has said we have to water them every day yes yeah, so we've had some clematis yeah we, he gave us the choice of um he's gonna grow up the walls wisteria or clematis and these are evergreen he said Oh, brilliant. So even when they're not flowering, they'll still be green. Lovely. I've not noticed these pinky ones before. Not, I've not seen these. Look at these. Yeah, they're Gramps. Gramps, Gramps put, put them yeah, in. That's they're carnations. My granddad put these in. They're these beautiful. ones here. Yeah. There's a couple of them. There's one there and there's one over there and there's one over there. Yeah, they're but lovely. But these irises are just something else. Yeah, I can't believe you've got another. They oh, are one. crazy. And then we've got four more, yeah? Yeah. Bud in here these i absolutely love when these come through these are so nice are they? they go purple oh i don't know those ones. yeah if anyone can tell us what these are they're so nice when they come through and then got some more here even the red robin out the front has started to blossom i can't tell you how happy it makes me having lines on the grass I've never even seen it like this. It is absolutely wild, isn't it? Wow. I feel like we did this in my last video as well. We went for a little walk. This is the best time though, not the morning, the evening. Cow parsley's looking on fleek at the moment, let me tell you. What are you doing? Yeah, it's little Robin. So these are the parents of the little chick. For anybody that follows me on Instagram, at Ali Gordon, little plug there, you may have seen recently that there was a baby chick, which was a fledgling, from two robins that had fell onto the ground. And Lumi was around and about, and I was a little bit concerned. We also have foxes and stuff and barn owls around here. The advice is, if you see a fledgling, allow it to be on the floor because that's natural nature. They leave the nest, they try and fly, they land on the floor, the parents feed them, and eventually they take to the air. Lovely job. But it was at risk, and if I'd have left it, it would have been in Lumi's tummy or another animal's tummy. So I made the executive decision to put it out of harm's way into the tree, and um, so far, so good. Seems to be doing well. The nest is just up here, and the parents are still happy collecting the little worms for it. And that was one of them that you just saw over there. Don't you just love how the light comes through and hits the trees? It is unreal. So nice, isn't it? It's really surprising when you actually walk through it, Lids. Like, if you walk through over there, how many different types of plants there are and yeah. flowers. But you don't really realise. You no. just see cow parsley and think, that's <laughs> it. But actually, like, you've got all of these different ones that go through. It's where the birds pick up the seeds, yeah. fly, and then... And then, uh, is it poop or is it yes. they drop them? They've got little blue ones here. Let's take a little look at some of these. Oh, let's go and have a look at this flower bed. You can see the progress in a week. So this is lavender. That'll be coming out very soon. 
So if you remember a week ago in my vid video, this did not look like that. This one is starting to go big. And look at this. It's incredible how fast this stuff grows. Literally, it's just out of nowhere. I filmed this a week ago. Yeah. A week ago, a week ago. It didn't look like that. And so those of you on IG will be familiar with my bird feeders. They absolutely have my pants down with. Get through those seeds in a day. One of those in a whole day. This one here, they don't go through very quickly because it's harder to get the seeds out. I need to give that a little shake for them. <laughs> but this one here just goes bang. Anyway, got a rhododendron. Which I always feel looks like it's not its healthiest because I don't think we've got the best soil in the ground for it. But it does flower every year, which is great. And it's what my granddad planted last year. Ooh, this is about to bud as well. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to put this on my video right now. Count down to when it... Blooms. This will probably go in about a month and it will go wild. So this is what it looks like now and we'll revisit this moment, okay? We'll do another little check. This is the pink wall check. So at the moment it's looking pretty green but very soon it's gonna be looking very pink. So the main event has just arrived. I've got an Indian this evening that I've never had before. I just asked for his advice. I'd never heard of it. I don't know what it's called. Right, let's play a game. If you meow, you get a biscuit. And if you don't meow, you don't get a biscuit, okay? <laughs> you got a meow and a yawn. <laughs> wow, she was like, that game was boring. <laughs> Come on then. I'm gonna go back onto gin. Yeah? That sounds lovely. So good. Watch out for my beer, darling. Over there. It is a little <laughs> malfunction. Get that bit on the floor. Okay. Don't me, do you want some Indian? So the Indian has arrived. This focus on this camera is something else. There she is. Lily has gone for chicken tikka masala with Peshwari naan pilau rice. Mm -hmm. Order of the century. Mm -hmm. Every single time without fail. I just know what I like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've gone for something a little bit different. I've got my Peshwari Naam, which is quite standard, and Pilar Rice. I'm not quite sure what this is. Can you see on the lid, or do you, can you read that? Mm -mm. It begins with P. Let's tuck in and see what it's all about. Mm. Good morning, everybody. Ooh, it's bright. That's a little bit better. Um, so this morning, Lids and I are going to be going on a 5 to 7k run. We never really know how far we're going to make it until we start and then we'll just see how we feel. But yeah, we're going to be going for a run around the local area and then today I need to cut my hair, which I'm not going to be vlogging because I've vlogged it like two or three times already. Uh, so you don't need to see me cut my hair anymore. It's a very slow and hard process. I'm going to do that, which will take up quite a bit of time. And then I don't really know what we've got planned for the rest of the day. It's just going to be like a kind of like a Saturday, I think, because it's bank holiday obviously so we're just kind of probably just going to do a little bit of stuff around the house and just chill out which will be nice and tomorrow is going to be a gorgeous day so i'm going to be making sure that i'm freed up to get out and enjoy that and soak up some sun so yeah last night was great we just sat down in the lounge chilled out had a few more glasses of gin went to bed had a 100% night's sleep on my sleep cycle app, which makes me very happy because I haven't had 100% in 
absolutely ages. I mean, I've been like struggling to get to 70% good night's sleep. So to have hit 100 yesterday was a good time. Perhaps the alcohol helped uh, help me sleep better. <laughs> Go for a run. Can we take her with us? I reckon she'd outrun us. No, no. Come here, you. Come here, you. Are we going out? She thinks we're going outside. She's running. We're not going out there, my love. <laughs> so I fresh out the shower. Lids and I did, I think, about 6k in the end, which wasn't too bad. Uh, came back, had some eggs on toast. I've been using Ken's mum's peppercorn sauce, which is relatively spicy i'd say and i'm just like addicted to it it's so good uh, i was chatting to him the other day on the phone actually and we were saying that we need to get that stuff bottled up and in stores uh, but his mum lives in barbados so not sure how the logistics of that would work we'd have to try and get her over here to do some huge batch cook <laughs> let's help me cut my hair so i pretty much did the majority of it and then the part where you have to fade from clipper to the scissor part of the head uh, lids came in and just tidied that up a little bit with a comb and she's done a pretty decent job the last time i cut my hair i went far too high with it because i couldn't really see what i was doing ended up cutting off half my crown um, so this haircut was kind of like a midway break point where it's kind of like on the mend so it was never going to be perfect but it's good enough happy to see another weekend with it so i think now i'm just going to go and get the sun lounger cushions and covers out liz has been pestering me all week to do it and uh, it's beautiful out there so yes i think i'm just going to go out sunbathe in the garden and barbecue later lids yes, oh yeah gonna get the barbie going and uh, probably enjoy a few drinks because this is our weekend now. So yeah, that is the plan of action. I just had an idea actually, thinking about going out into the garden, about a week ago. A week ago, a week ago. You, you do that every single time. It's so <laughs> bloody <laughs> annoying. Um, Lids asked me if I would go out in the garden and get her a piece of wood because she wants to make a little interior design prop thing. What would you call it? Yeah, oh, right, okay. So she wants me to get a bit of wood from the garden, put it on a bit of string, and then she wants to hang some... What, do you want to hang on there? Flowers. Some flowers on there. And also, to, we've got that huge, huge, huge basil plant in the, in the garden that Aaron hates um, right. and wants to rip out. But I Basel. Thought, yeah? El Basel. Yeah, and I was thinking about taking some of the leaves off, drying them, and making our own... Um, Puzzle. Okay, so um, I'm going to do that now. We'll go and have a little wander in the woodland and see what we can find. So I've set up the table over there ready for this evening when we have supper. And then sun lounges are out. Look how cool the clouds look today. You're fluffy. I was saying to Liz yesterday, I can't believe how much everything's just kind of blossomed and literally so dense in there now, I love it. So we're going to take a little walk into the woods, see if we can find a little piece of wood for Lydia. Something that's fell down from one of the trees here. It's actually really nice to bring something from outside in. I think we've touched on this before in our videos um, about going outside and finding something from area in which you live. So I can imagine a few of you in London might have a few traffic cones in your gaff. We're gonna be grabbing some sort of nature's finest. And the idea is, is I think, Lydia's gonna get a piece of string that she's gonna to tie to each end of the log. And then you drape over the log or you create sort of like you drill holes into it or something. And then you fix in um, some blossoms, I guess. For example, you have the wood hanging on the wall and then you have a load of these kind of plants and stuff hanging and drying it's supposed to look really nice so I'm going to take her in a few options and see what she wants to do right let's take these and see if these are any good very sad why? Oh, well, they were bought a week ago. Yeah. A week ago, a week ago. 
So, Mrs. Millen Gordon, yes. will you come and take a look at my wood? But you never asked. Come on then, in your pinny. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you're more of this kind of guy. Yeah, this one. This one. <laughs> the little one, that's joking. Oh, I like short little and wood, Little wood joke. <laughs> oh yeah, until you go fire. This one here, too heavy. But you got to think, you could cut it. Ching, ching, ching. So you've got, there's three bits in that. So is there any that tickle your fancy? Well, it needs to be stripped back. Yeah, I mean, I'd... The only thing is, is... <laughs> on the other side. Oh, there all will be lids. It's, you know, it's all been out and about. It but, needs to be sanded. Yeah, but I think you, I mean, this is cracked and split. Oh, right. Isn't it? So you might find that you'd be better off with this bit here. And you sand it for me. And I'll sand it down, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bad idea. Let's take you over here. So the next step is to tie two slip knots around each end using one piece of string. So then yes, it'll so it'll be, yeah, it'll be hooked up. Okay. Whilst Lydia bakes us a cake. Nah. Shall we? We've not done this in a while. This slip knot thing. I don't know how you do slip knots. Do you think I should just tie? Let's just make it up. Let's just make it up. For anyone that's going to write in the comment section about me having wood from the outside on the same place where Lydia's baking us a cake, don't worry, stay calm, you've not got to eat it. First phase complete. Yeah, so what's the next stage? Did you check when my shears arrived? When I will check that, but yeah, what, check. what's next with this? That's it. Let's go and get some... How do you hang them on? You can... I'll decide where I want it to go. Right. We've got more butter as well. We have, yeah. Oh, good. Um, I've decided to, de to decide where I want it to go. Have you done it? I've got shears already. Yeah, I know, but I want my nice one. So that's it. That's all that needs to be done for now. Okay, yeah. well, if you want to see this in action on the wall with the... What bush is it? Basil. The basil bush. Let's check out Lydia's channel because it'll probably be on there in the future. You want me to take a picture? Whilst Lids is busy finishing off making that cake, I'm gonna go outside and try and get a little bit of sun, but it has just gone behind the clouds, typical. So the barbecue's been cooled off. We've had a bit of drizzle. We cooled it off? Yeah, it's been raining, Lids. It's hammered it down. Instead. Well, I don't know. You look like you're the one that's ready to cook, not me. No, I've baked, babe. I'm making dessert. Let's have a look at Lids's cake. It's, 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 it's looking banging. Well, it's sunk a little bit because um, I realized I've for some reason I put it really high up in the oven so I had to quickly mm. take it out but it's it not It looks like you put a little man in there. Yeah, I didn't actually do that. If you could smell guys, it smells delightful. Good, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to make Lids a gin and tonic. That is us drinking two nights on the bounce. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>